Hello there. It is the one, the only, it is the most electrifying host on social media. That is right. It is Team Ra right here. How the hell is everyone doing? I'm doing quite well. Let me do my quick introduction, then we'll go from there. It is time to get this amazing podcast in the way. I'm going to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss with you. So sit back, relax, grab whatever you want to eat, grab whatever you want to drink, because this will be a very interesting topic to discuss. Here goes nothing. Now, yesterday, I discussed about the Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt match. Possibility at WrestleMania 34. Go listen to it if you miss out. Okay? Now, in this one, I'm going to discuss it again. But this time, WWE is going to film it for WrestleMania 34 in advance. I wish it was live, but I guess they have a jam packed card. So I don't know if it's going to be on a pre show or not. Hopefully, they give enough airtime. If not, that'd be a shame. So. Probably you know about who won this match when it's all done filming. So stay away from the internet. Stay away from the spoilers. Do you wish it was live? I wish it was live. Hopefully they don't they don't screw this up like they did to the Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton match last year sometime. Back in April, I think. That's a total fail. In my opinion. It was okay, but they could do way better, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of pre pre uh, matches, pre-tape matches, this kind of thing, but whatever. They should do live. I know they could do it, you know? They have the technology, but whatever. But anyway, I put the article down below. Now, this match might be a good success, or it might be a total fail. We'll see what happens. I know I mentioned a few things yesterday. Um, let's see what happens. So, I don't know if they have any rules for this match. It might different be different rules from TNA and W. I don't know how they're gonna do this. You know, people will be pissed if it's not the same thing like TNA did back in the day. You know, hopefully it makes the freaking card. If it's on pre-show, that's a shame. Now, hopefully they make the card when it comes on DVD version for WrestleMania 34. But you know how McMahon is; they like to cut it. You know, they don't have enough air. They don't have enough time because W. Don't make any more Blu-rays, and they should, you know. Actually, they should stick with the times and just make Blu-ray and DVD format. And in my opinion, they should just have on Blu-ray and DVD and just cut the price for Blu-rays. But no one wasn't buying Blu-rays for wrestling, and you don't have enough um, storage on DVD format, you know. You don't anymore, in my opinion. Or they could put this on this extra feature you know bonus put them on give them an extra disc they did that when I went to um, Walmart recently I saw the Royal Rumble for a two disc DVD first time ever I think back in the day when it was on Blu-ray is enough room now they got put on two discs really W really but this is all I gotta say um I don't give a darn that anybody says Blu-ray is the best thing out there. Better quality. I know that it's a 4K. You can't keep up with technology. I know this had nothing to do with wrestling, but that's just my opinion. Um, watch it go back to the V. See, me and the clamshell. Remember those big ones? They will never go back in time. Or will they? Um, so, hopefully, they do this right. Hopefully, they filmed this. They filmed this yesterday in um, Matt Hardy's home in North Carolina like he did in TNA so hopefully it's going to be good I don't know how long this match is going to be it might be a short match it might be a long match uh, hopefully they don't have a lot of segments hopefully they just get right into the damn match you know so let's see what happens I'm really excited so like, subscribe, leave a comment let me know what you think about the article are you looking for this match or do you think it's going to be a disaster what's your honest opinion about this now if you miss out about my fast lanes predictions don't worry at the end of this podcast there's a little um logo you can double click it and it'll automatically take to the fast lanes predictions so have a great rest of your friday and have a spectacular weekend and enjoy fast lanes this sunday this is the host here team all right and enjoy listening to the both podcasts from earlier today and just a few minutes ago. Later, Gators, sayonara.